Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is not the type of video I would usually make, but it's just like the thing I just want to share with you. So let's just go on with the video. So if you as you read the title, it's, it says uh, it can improve your microphone. Also, you can change your pitch with it, like your pitch shifter. You can change your voice if you if you want to make it higher or lower, or like a demonic voice, anything you want. You can make reverb, so it sounds like you're from a cathedral or somewhere in a cave, maybe. In a yeah, some some sort of, uh, some echo stuff. <laughs> now basically, you need uh, there's th three things you need to install in your computer. You need a voice meter, that's the first one. Also, you need mini host modular, and also you need Auburn Sounds, which is the plugin for changing your voice. I'll provide all the link in the description below so you can find it easier for yourself. And now, go to the first link. Go to the first link, and you will be provided with this website. This is actually a virtual mixer which is actually has so many useful stuff in it but for now if you want to go deep into the program itself you can search voice meter tutorial on YouTube but for now I'm just gonna explain what to do in order for you to change your voice with this thing it's because it's really really useful. Now go ahead and install it. Now because I've, I've downloaded it so now I just need to install it but because I've installed it as well, <laughs> it's gonna say remove from me. But for you guys, it'll say uh, install. So go ahead and install it, and it's gonna say it's gonna ask you to reboot your computer. Go ahead and reboot it and turn it on again and open up Voice Mirror Banana. Now, this is what the software is going to be Voice Mirror Banana. Basically, all you need to do now is go ahead and go to A1, A2, and A3 right up here. So basically, this is like the three devices you can connect to Voice Mirror Banana. So now A1 is currently is on my headphone, Razer Kraken. So now A2, let's say I can connect it to my speaker. Uh, it's on LG TV. Oh yeah, first thing first, WDM KS and MME is like the driver. Pick one the best for you. For me, WDM seems to have a problem with my headphone, so I put on KS. But for the rest, it's fine. It's 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 like. It doesn't matter at all. So yeah, go ahead and uh, pick one the best for you. But essentially, they're, they're the same thing. It's just a different driver. So now, let's say A2 is gonna be my speaker. Now you can see a bunch of stuff right here. It should be turned on like this for you for the first time. But go ahead and turn it all, it all off. Just turn all of it off. Okay. Once you get turn it off, go to hardware input one and. To, uh, choose this to your microphone. For me, it's WDM microphones, car SL USB. And now, when I'm talking, it's going to come up right here because it's like the thing that you, when you monitor your audio. So, pretty simple, pretty self explanatory itself. You can uh, lower your volume, turn it up again if you want to, make it e rape, I don't know. <laughs> but don't do that, it's obnoxious. Uh, we have A1 and A2 connected to our devices. Now, if I put, if I turn on A1 right here, I can hear myself on my headphone, because now that I turn on A1 on my microphone, it's going to listen to the microphone. So now, if I turn on A2, A2 is basically my speaker. Now, if I turn on A2, it's going to come up right at this TV because this is the speaker I use. And now, you can hear my voice. Awesome, I'm gonna turn it off again because it's kinda a little too loud. <laughs> okay, uh, there's another thing you need to do. Uh, go to sound uh, settings on your windows, go to sound control panel, and make sure on your playback, put it to voice mirror input. This is what, this is the thing that you probably have on, on your playback now, and also voice mirror auxiliary input. Just make sure it's default is voice mirror input. Make sure it's set default right there. And now, when you try to play games or play YouTube from your Google Chrome or something like that, it's going to pop up right here. So to test that, I'm gonna go to in Minecraft. I'm gonna play the game. Now, if I click anything, I don't hear any clicking sound from the game because it comes up right here. So you can see when you click the game, it comes up right there. Now I can't hear them because I haven't turned on A1 yet. So if I want to hear it in my headphone, just turn on A1. Now I can hear it on my headphone, which is awesome. That is nice. Now, if I want to play it on my speaker, just turn on A2 because A2 is my speaker.
pretty self-explanatory and it's actually nice. So now, what is B1 and B2? B1 is basically like the first output and B2 is the second output. So now that you have two more output, you can basically uh, route this to your Discord. Before that, so you now have two output. Now if you see on your recording right here, you have voice mirror output and you have voice mirror auxiliary output. So basically vo uh, voice mirror output is B1 and voice mirror auxiliary output is B2. Now if you turn on B1, it's going to come up to voice mirror output. Hello? It's going to come up right there. Now if you turn on B2, it's going to come up to your voice mirror auxiliary output. So now that once you got that in your mind, once you get that idea, you can just basically make the things in your uh, set the things in your Discord. So this is what is set it up on my Discord. Now, if you see on the input device, it's on voice mirror output, which is voice mirror output is B1, like we uh, like I've shown you before. So now, if I turn on B1, it's going to come up right here. So if I turn it on, hello, see, it's turned on. Now if I turn it off again. It's not going to hear anymore because it's like it's muting itself. There's nothing coming through there. Now the output device is uh, another thing. So you see on your playback, you have voice mirror input and voice mirror auxiliary uh, input. Sorry, voice mirror input and voice mirror auxiliary input. So basically, voice mirror input is this strip right here. This is voice mirror input. This is going to where it comes up before, and voice mirror auxiliary input is this one. So basically, you can have two input at the same time so basically like for me output device it's going to be voice mirror auxiliary input so it's gonna be coming up right here uh, rather than minecraft it used to come right here now my discord voices is going to come up right here so now if i test it out see it coming up right there now i can't hear it because i turn it off of course now if i want to hear it on my headphone just turn on a1 i can hear it on my headphone now if i turn on a2 it's going to be on my speaker, which is awesome. Now, once you get the hand on the software, this is like where the fun part begins now. I'll turn on B1 now. Uh, so I'm going to route it to... Uh, B1 is a voice mirror uh, output, right? I'm going to route it to my OBS so you can hear uh, the sound that is coming from the voice mirror itself. Because now you're hearing the sound that is actually coming from the microphone itself without any uh, connectivity with the voice mirror. Now, you're hearing it from the voice meter. If I turn off uh, B1, you won't hear any. You won't hear me anymore. There you go. I can hear me. You can hear me any. Uh, you can hear me again now. <laughs> I'm having problem talking, so I'm sorry if you guys like see me weird. But yeah. <laughs> so yeah, now um, you can do a lot of stuff. High pass filter, basically making your voice like a radio talking something like that. Low pass filter, make sure it's uh deep. You know, you have that bass. It's pretty awesome. Echo, echo though, uh, it's kind of not nice uh, for this echo, but I mean, yeah, sure, go ahead if you want to play with this echo. Also, right click, you have modulation. Uh, it's basically making your voice weird. Uh, like, that's pretty weird. <laughs> you can play around with that. Right click again, and you have ref and, uh, ref and light. <laughs> You have right and left, which uh, you can see here, if I t put it on the right, you can see me slowly descending to your right ear. What? And if if I put it here, I'm slowly descending to your left ear. That's weird. Oh my god. Whoa. I mean, I can be in, your, in front of you, like, around here, I guess, if that makes sense. So yeah, you can play around with that. So there, there's three panel for that. Also really cool. Now, all right, this is the fun part. Let's go. Let's change our voice into a little child. No, not a little child. Let's a uh, little little gnome or something like that that has a little voice, <laughs> whatever. Or also a demon, also a demonic voice. Okay. Now, first thing first, follow it up because it's kind of complicated. Go to menu. Go to system settings. Now you'll see here. It, 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 everything will be turned off like this. Okay, now turn on in one left and in one right. So basically, this is like in one, in two is like this one, in three is like this one. So left is like your left ear, right is like your right ear. Just turn on both of them. Now, 
Um, also, make sure the prevert main sample rate is going to be 44,000 hertz because, uh, yeah, just put it on 44,000 hertz for now. Just do it, just do it, okay? <laughs> okay, now close that. Now go to the second link that I've provided before, which is the mini host modular. Now go ahead and join if you haven't had an account in image line. But if you have an account, just sign in. For me, I have an account. Now, once you logged in, uh, basically all you need to do is just download the Windows installer right here. .zip. Now it's going to go ahead and download it. I've downloaded it, of course. Now I need to open it up. And there you go. Basically, this is all you need to do. Just install the thing. Pretty easy. And just go ahead and install. It's going to ask something. It's going to un unpack the data. Click next, blah, blah, blah. I agree. And next, next, next. And yeah, just go ahead and install it. Now open up mini host modular. Uh, I have the 64 bits. So yeah, basically, uh, it's going to be Windows Audio. Uh, for the default when you open it up for the first time but go ahead and change it to ACO and change the device to voice meter uh, insert virtual ACO now it's going to be like this also uh, the thing why I need you to change it to 44,000 Hertz because it's sometimes crashed so you gotta change it to 48,000 in here first and it's gonna can set sample rate to 48,000 and then go ahead and change it to 48,000 Hertz. Now you can connect it again to voice mirror insert virtual. There you go, you have 48,000 Hertz. Now the audio buffer size, just make sure it's like that and then go ahead and go to here. So this is like a blank canvas now. All right, now we have two stuff right here, all right? Now also, you can't hear me on voice mirror anymore because it's, it's like, uh, the thing is, uh, it's it's like it's going to patch the audio first so like the audio is not going to come to uh, through here but instead it's going to come through here and then like when it's routed to go to the output to here and then it's going to come up right here so if I connect audio in and connect it to audio out now I can hear myself again but we don't want that we want a plugin between this to change our voice so you got an idea, right? Okay, you got the idea, nice, all right. Now go ahead and go to the third link, which is the plugin that we need to change our voice. This is the Auburn Sounds uh, VST. You can have it for free or you can buy the full edition. I mean, for full edition, I kind of recommend it because it's really good. It's a really good plugin as well. I've I've played with it for around, I don't know, a week. And it's pretty much the best software, I mean, the best plugin for me at least because it has a low delay and it's really nice to hear. Now go ahead and download the free edition if you just want to download it without paying anything. <laughs> and open it up and it's gonna it, go into a zip file like this. And just make sure if you're on Windows, download the Windows one. If you're on Mac, just download the Mac one. For me it's on Windows, so I'm gonna open it up. There you go, yes, and blah blah blah, I agree. And just next, 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 and next. And go ahead and install it. Because I've installed it now, uh, make sure you restart the program again if you installed it where, while you're opening up the program. But for me, I've installed it now. I just need to put the plugin, put the plugin in. Now go ahead and right-click on here, add plugin, and go to Auburn Sounds Graylin 2, 64-bit. But if you're using the 32-bit, make sure you put it on uh, the the first one. Now go ahead and click on there, and there you go. It's going to route itself, it's going to come up like this, and now you can hear me, which is great and awesome. <laughs> now you can go ahead and tweak around right here, you can see, uh, now if it's closed, you can double click to open it up, and now you can hear my voice, you can change this to change your pitch. Hello, how are you doing? What? This is crazy. This is, this is, what? This is beyond human level. If you can make yourself like a demonic voice, which is actually pretty awesome. <laughs> Double click to reset it. And basically you can have autotune as well. What? You can have autotune, yeah. Uh, for me, let's make C major. I don't know things about music, but all I know is just C major. <laughs> now go ahead and enable it. And, and hello, how are you doing? I'm using autotune. 
This is awesome. Very awesome. Now for the free edition, you can see it's locked right here. It's also locked right here. Maybe I need to turn it off first. <laughs> it's locked right here, it's locked right here. Uh, but for the rest, this one, this one, this one, this one is uh, it's available. So it's really nice to uh, have this plug in your mini host. And that's it. There you go. You can change your voice into a little gnome. Or change it to even deeper. You know, like a demonic voice. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, basically, uh, we just need to set up the things. And there you go. It's done. Oh, yeah. For me, I'm actually using the voice meter potato. I'm not using the voice meter banana because voice meter banana is like... It has it has features, but it doesn't have more features as uh, as much as Voice Mirror Potato, which you know pretty pretty awesome. So if you're using Voice Mirror Potato, now you can see how big this is. That's what she said. You can do so much more with this. I mean, if you want me to have an in-depth uh, tutorial about Voice Mirror, you can go ahead and comment down below. But for now, it's just. That's the thing you need to set up uh, the voice changer and the pitch shifter and the thing you can tweak with your audio, basically. Let's turn on B1 so you can hear me from the voice meter. Uh, basically the same stuff that happens to here. Uh, turn on mini host modular. There you go. And it's going to, it's not going to patch up because uh, if you're using voice mirror uh, potato, you need to choose the voice mirror potato insert. and. It can't set the uh, it can't set the sample rate to that, and I need to change it to forty four thousand hertz now. There you go, awesome. Now I can change my voice right here. It's awesome. Hello, how are you doing? Ooh, awesome. If you still have any questions to ask, or if you still don't understand because my explanation sometimes is just really bad, yeah, go ahead and ask in the comment below. Okay pretty easy just ask me thank you so much for watching uh make sure to leave a like if you enjoy this video if you find this video helpful but make sure to dislike as well because i want to know if this video is going well or not <laughs> and yeah go ahead and subscribe if you want more content from my channel because i used to make uh gaming content which actually kind of weird to be honest <laughs> So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. I'll be playing games in the next video, okay? Gotta go. Bye. <laughs>